you gotta educate yourself, you gotta get smart, you have to learn how to read her facial expressions and body language. And this is what we're gonna do today. Hi guys, I talked to a lot of you coming here to Ukraine to find yourself a Slavic wife and to me it seems like all of you have the same problem. You're having a hard time understanding if the girl really likes you or not and I got it, right? First of all, she's not your typical Western woman. Secondly, for the most part, you don't speak Russian or Ukrainian language. And thirdly, our women, they're more emotionally reserved. So she wouldn't tell you directly. Now, we all know only 30% of our communication is the words that we use. 70% are non-verbal. Did you know study shows women are 87% accurate at reading your body language, while men only 42% accurate. Now guys, you need some help here and this is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna teach you how to read the body language with your date. Now, before we get into this, I'd like you to remind there are six international facial expressions recognized worldwide. This is happiness, sadness, disgust, fear, surprise and anger. We all use them to communicate with others. Now, in terms of body language, the first thing you're going to pay attention to is her body position and posture. The second thing is going to be eye contact. The third one is going to be smile and laughter. The fourth one is going to be personal clues. The fifth one is going to be excitement. The sixth one is going to be touch. And the seventh is going to be mirroring. So, you know, I thought to myself, what is the best way to explain to somebody the science of a body language if not to look to, into the pictures of other people and analyze their body language? So I have a little collection of pictures for you. Some of them are pretty clear and self-explanatory when, when others need a little bit of more interpretation. So this is what we're going to do with you today. We're going to look at the pictures, we're going to analyze them, we're going to have some fun and hopefully learn something new. So let's get started! Okay guys, so let's talk about body posture and position. We all tend to gravitate toward the people that we like. We want to be closer to them, you know, we even lean into people that we like or attracted to. So let's look at our pictures. The number one is the girl, she's, she really doesn't like the guy, you know, he tries to be closer to her, he tries to kiss her, and she's like, no, no, I don't want that, you know. The second picture is the couple, you know, it's Kim and his ex-husband. As we see, you know, the, the, the man, he tries to be closer to Kim, he leans into her, but her body faces away from him. Even the knees, you know, it's not, they, they not turn towards the guy, they outwards. And she, she looks at him with this half smile, you know, and you know it's not a real smile because the real smile is the one, you know, when you smile with your eyes, you have the wrinkles around your eyes and your mouth, and this is just half smile, so it's totally fake. Okay. The number three one, you see the couple, you know, they go in, I don't know, from they live in the restaurant or maybe the shop. He's clearly older than her, you know, they, he's behind her, so, so she's leading, you know, he's trying to catch up with her. She doesn't, you know, she doesn't want to be seen with him, she doesn't want to be close to him. So she looks down, you know, and she's a little bit in front of the guy. Okay. This is the good one, right? The girl, she, she sits very close to the man. She looks into his eyes. They're smiling, you know, they, they're close to each other and seems like they enjoy each other's company. Okay, next picture. You see the beautiful couple, you know, they're having a good time, they're having drinks, they, they're facing each other, you know, they're smiling and, you know, generally comfortable. So that's a good, good sign, you know, like she, they like each other. Okay, next picture. Well, this is very pretty good and obvious, right? Prince Charles and Diana, we all, we all know about their relationship. You know, they all, they have a big gap between them, you know, distant. No, no emotion on a Prince Charles face, you know, he's trying to pick something of his nails or his fingers, you know, Diana's hands crossed, you know, she doesn't have any smile and very emotionless face, very unhappy. Next picture. This one is even better, right? She totally faces different direction from Prince Charles, you know. He stays straight, you know, he doesn't smile again, no emotion, doesn't look like he's happy. She wearing, she's wearing her crown, you know, she looks like a beautiful princess, but very miserable, you know. No, no happiness, no smile, no emotions, rather sadness, I would say. 
Next picture. Well, this is a good one, right? Young, Ronald, young Donald Trump. Well, uh, as we see, you know, he, he, he's trying to be closer to his wife. He, he's got his arm over Melania, telling everybody, no, this is my woman. But when you look at the Melania and analyze her face, it's, it's very emotionless. You know, she doesn't smile. She doesn't look like she's excited to be next to him. She doesn't seem to be happy. Her arms crossed, you know, her legs crossed and the whole body is very, you know, like closed and uncomfortable. I don't know whether she's not happy next to him or maybe she's nervous in front of the camera, but overall they don't look like a good match in this picture. Next one. Well, this is a good one, probably acting, you know, but it could be in your, you know, it could happen to you on your date. You know, you sit in front of each other, you know, you don't know each other that well, you know, you're getting to know each other, you invite the lady for a date and man looks pretty confident, his arm on, on, on the table, you know, he's open and he's smiling, you know, he looks at, the, at his lady and lady, she looks away. She doesn't seem to be happy, she doesn't seem to enjoy his company and her arms are crossed, which means she's not open to accepting the information from him. She's very, you know, uh, closed. Next picture. Well, this is a good example. You know, you have the couple on a date, they lean in toward each, towards each other. Seems like they're having a good conversation. The lady tries to hear what he says, you know, and he, he does the same. Seems like they're having a good time, they smiling, you know, and just body language, all is good, right? They, seems like they're having a great time. Next one. That's even better, you know, they, 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 they're looking at something on the menu and she shows him something and they're laughing, you know, they're full of joy and seems like it's a great date for, for those two. Next one. Well, this is a good good thing, you know, because it happens very often when you don't know someone, right? Imagine you, you come here and you invited the lady for a date, you don't know her, you don't know a lot of uh, things in, you don't have a lot of things in common, so you're kind of new to each other and people, what do they do? They just look at their phones, you know, and this is a classic example, you know, he looks at his phone and she looks at his phone, they have having coffee or tea, probably waiting for, for meal to arrive, but still, instead of engaging the conversation, getting to know each other, having fun, you know, asking questions, sharing stories, they just look at their phones, you know, and it seems like it's boring and the, the, the day doesn't go well for those two. Next picture. Well, this is a good one as well, because at first you can think that they're mirroring, they're having the same arm position, but if you look at the girl, her, you know, she's pouting, she's looking down, she looks miserable, you know, she looks like, he, I don't know, she just found out that it's, he's cheating on her or something, she doesn't look happy at all, you know, so pay attention to the facial expressions as well, and eye contact. Next picture. Well, this is a great one as well. I mean, they 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 at the beach, you know. The the man is clearly older than the lady. He's behind her, trying to catch up with her, trying to put his hand around her arm, and she's. I mean, she's got this half smile going on, but it's it's not a real smile. Like, and she stands, you know, her arms down. She she stays like a soldier. She doesn't want to touch him. She doesn't want to hug him, she doesn't want to respond, so pay attention to this, especially if you go for the big age gap. This is what, this is a good example of what can happen. Next picture. Right, what do we have here? We have a nice couple, guy is smiling, seems like he's, you know, enjoying the company and he likes his date, but the girl looks very cold, very bored, you know, and emotionless, so yeah, it seems like they doesn't go well, you know, and it could happen with our ladies because we're pretty, you know, emotionless, I would say, you know. So if you're having a day like this, maybe she's not enjoying your company that much. Pay attention to that. Make her happy, make her smile. Now that wraps up posture. Now look at number two, eye contact. Eye contact generally, you know, demonstrate attention and engagement. You know, the way she looks at you, if she relaxed, if she's smiling, if she's comfortable. So look at these pictures now.